Hi and welcome to the team preview for Odd. Um, and many of you might think of this name, what an odd name it is indeed. They used to be called uh, Odd Grenland, um, for those who remember that particular name. They're from this, a city called uh, Skien. Um, so let's delve into uh, Odd and, and see what they've got. And uh, last year they were fourth. They lost on the last day of the season, otherwise they would have finished third. So they kind of bottled it, really. Uh, I've gone key rival Sanderfjord. I mean, that could be, there's not really much of a rivalry. They kind of have one with Strom's good set as well and Mjöndal into a lesser degree. They're the sort of club that no one really hates and they don't really hate anyone either. So um, uh, a bit tame in that regard. The uh, Skogorak uh, Arena, 12,000. Um, they're usually really good at home, actually. Odd. Um, not necessarily massively supported, but they get good crowds there. So they could um, sort of be impacting ne negatively from the uh, behind closed doors. They've just lost their manager of 12 years, Dog. I have Fagermo, who's gone to Volarenga, so his assistant, um, who's been at the club a long time, Jan yeah, Frodo Norn has, has taken over. So not too much change in terms of formation and stuff. We'll come to that in a minute. I think they're going to finish ninth, around that sort of mark anyway. There's a few question marks, which I'm going to come to soon. So um, but before we get onto that, let's go on to uh, where exactly they are. Um, Skien is in this sort of western side of uh, Norway. It's near to Drammen. It's not too far from like Mjöndalen as well. Sandefjord isn't a million miles away that sort of vicinity that is the sky Godak arena quite a modern stadium really nice looking one um odd the fixture list is quite good i must say to start the season with no red marks here yet so they're not facing any of the really big clubs apart from perhaps vola Renga, but it's a home match uh, third round but they've got some very um tasty looking games sanderfield home on the opening day that's as easy as it gets really they couldn't have a wished for any, a better start and uh, talking of start they face them away from home round four which is fairly simple home matches against um, Buda Glimt in their hog Sund they got four of their first six are at home which is, is advantageous probably um, in terms of at least it's familiar um, surroundings they don't have to travel that much um, and they say so the trip to Strum's good set and start isn't that bad at all so the fixtures are there for odd but it's a question of can their players sort of deliver the goods and let's have a look at their team I think Sandro Rosbeck is a good option in goal they've got a, a decent looking defence albeit it's quite an old looking defence but I look at some of them teams they're facing I don't see too many goals being scored against them I mean Sanderfield are toothless at the best of times Strum's good will be a threat but um, it's not necessarily a place that they could uh, they're guaranteed to ship goals in Volarenga might not be that brilliant against them at home um, you know it's the sort of start where I think the keeper could do well and Rosbach is quality. The back line itself is old. Um, Espen Rude, 36 now. He takes a lot of set pieces. Um, he can maybe come up trumps there. But Reese is a little bit expensive, I think, on the left-hand side of the defence. Um, even though, you know, historically he's a left winger, even played up front in the past. But he's a, very much a left-back in this system. I think Elba Roshan is a quality player in midfield, a right winger, one of the best in his position in the league but he's injured I'm not sure exactly how long for I mean I heard like a week but it could be longer potentially it's a big blow for them actually I would have considered having Rajani in my team um, someone that's hovered in my fantasy teams historically um, up front obviously let's we're going to have to talk about Turgi Bervin who scored a whopping 186 points last year um, I mean there's the top scorer in the league and he's an absolute monster but his contract runs out uh, the club um, in just a few weeks time so until then I mean, you're going to get a few matches out of him but then there's talk about him not re-signing he could leave the league he might stay in the league and uh, and been rumours of um, sort of Rosenborg being linked so uh, I mean that would be a coup wouldn't it if you, you kept Borman and then he transferred um, to Rosenborg but he's a, he's a big price I think my big uh, question mark is with Roshani out you know, is he going to be able to capitalise? Certainly, the Sandefjord game is the service going to be there for Bourbon. If I was confident his head was there, then you would probably add him to your team. But there's too many question marks with him. You know, he could easily rock up and score a hat trick against one of these teams in the first six. But equally, he might not be there at all. Is the supply line going to be there for Odd? They don't have much depth. You know, Nordkvell's maybe a sleeper in midfield. I like um, he sort of runs into the box. Um, but he's um, he's no spring chicken anymore. Cash is sort of projected to start on the left wing as well. Who's going to start right wing now if uh, if Rashani's out for a prolonged period? I'm not sure. It might be someone like NG. Um, but, I mean, they've got the fixtures odd. I'll be looking at the goalkeeper definitely um, as, as an option. 
but apart from that, I think there's still question marks. It might be a risk going bourbon. I understand a lot will take him though. So um, yeah, let's keep your eye on them. Um, certainly the first six games, the potentials there. But uh, that's going to be it for this particular preview. Thanks very much for watching. Um, would love you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button to the channel as well to keep up to date with all our content. And until next time, that's it. Goodbye.